morning, but I haven't had the opportunity to come on camera and lie to y'all and say good morning in a very long time because I haven't vlogged in forever. I'm like literally the worst vlogger ever, but we digress. If you're new here, my name is Zaire. Welcome. Um, I just be like vlogging and traveling and and going places and like, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm back traveling. Um, I'm about to go on, it's really like a work trip, but you know, I'm gonna have a little fun too. And I'm going to one of my favorite cities. Um, I'm going to a film festival that's gonna be in one of my favorite cities, which is Miami. I'm going to the American Black Film Festival. Um, so I'm going to vlog the whole experience. So right now I am currently in here packing. It is, it's Monday. I leave on Wednesday. My flight is so early in the morning on Wednesday. Um, so I'm in here packing because I literally like, just in the past, I've spent so much time like just running around the day before I leave for a trip. And then like, I'm exhausted. Like as soon as I get to my destination, like I need a nap because like I'm just running around the whole day before. So I'm not doing that. I'm trying to prep. So it is two days before and I'm in here packing. Usually my packing is done two hours before my flight, but it's two days before my flight now. So I've literally, it's literally somebody outside scream, like a child outside screaming. So if you hear them, sorry. Um, so I'm in here packing. I'm, I've laid out, let me show you. I've laid out all of my outfits. Um, I'm only gonna be there for four days, four nights, five days. So I know this is a lot of clothes just for four days, but I'm an overpacker and I'm not ashamed of it because every time I go somewhere with somebody, they always are looking for a fit and I always have extra ones. So don't judge me for being an overpacker. So I'm about to try and pick all of these outfits let me flip the camera back around i'm about to try and put all of these outfits into my carry-on bag i'm only taking a carry-on and a personal bag um because it's only five days like i i don't need all these bags i usually be taking like three bags but i'm only gonna do my carry-on and my little personal bag and that's what we're gonna do that's how we're gonna work that one so I don't know if I'm gonna set y'all up and put all these clothes in the bag because I'm just be honest, I'm not fully dressed and I don't feel like putting no clothes on to prop the camera up <laughs> just to see, just to show y'all pack me packing this. So I'm gonna come back when it's fully packed and then we're gonna go for there, okay? All right, bye y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm done um, packing my bag. They're over there. Let me show you. So I have my um, carry-on bag, my black carry-on bag. Um, they just fit in like the overhead compartment. And then my Marc Jacobs tote bag will be kind of like my purse, my personal item. So that's that. Oh, hi, let me back up. Okay, so yeah, I'm done for prep today. Like I said, I'm not trying to be like stressed. Um, tomorrow the day before the trip running around LA I don't really need anything I just gotta go get some nail glue because um, I'm gonna get my toes done but I'm gonna do my hands myself so I just need to go get some like nail glue so I can just put the you know do that um, but yeah I feel accomplished I'm about to go order me some food I'm about to go oh I'm about to go wash my hair um, I've had these braids for about two months now they still look pretty good Janae always snaps so like I said I will leave her the description in the description box my braiders info or her IG and then you can go hit her up if you want to get your braids done if you're in LA honestly if you're not in LA go to Janae because she's fire um but yeah they're about two months old so I'm gonna go wash them just get like the build-up products that's been in them um and then just like lay them down, put a scarf on them, lay them down, and they'll be good. So I'm about to go do that. And then after that, I'm going to order some food and just chill for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow, 
I'll pick back up the camera and we'll finish. Full. I know something's gonna like. I know I'm forgetting something and something's gonna pop up. But until then, we chilling. Okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. So it is one day before my trip to Miami tomorrow, um, and I think I'm finished. So today I I'm back home. Today I've been like. Not, I'm not even gonna say running around because I really haven't been running around. Um, I went to the nail shop and I got my toes done. Let's see, I, I don't think I recorded in there. But you know, I did the regular French. Um, yeah. Let me zoom out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got my toes done and then I went to Target and I got some stuff to do my nails. So I did my, my hands myself. Um, because I know like first off like I don't wear nails but I only wear nails when it's like my birthday or I'm going on vacation or like it's somebody else's birthday and I just want to be cute like I don't wear nails it's just like a special occasion type thing um so I didn't want to go ahead and spend like a hundred dollars because that's LA prices for nails um to get my nails done and then I popped them off by the end of this weekend so i was like mm, i'm just doing myself so um yeah i went to target i picked up some other stuff like i needed to toothbrush toothpaste like you know other things it's just because one thing i don't do i do not um pack my regular like everyday things for travel like i hate to do that because when i get back i'm one of those people like i do not unpack like right away and when you pack the things that you use while you're at home like you have to pack right away, uh, unpack right away so i buy travel size everything and I, it just stays in my toiletry bag um so i had to like you know re-up on everything my travel toothbrush my um toothpaste my mouthwash my you know wipes like i had because i have like a whole bag that is just like everything in it dang i didn't get it i didn't get safety pins Dang, I didn't get safety pins. My friend, is, my friend Nia, she's also coming on the trip. Um, she's not coming with me because, but we have the same flight, so we're riding to the airport together. Um, and we'll just, of course, I'll probably see her when I'm in Miami. We're going to the same event, um, but she's going with her mom. Um, so yeah, and she's coming over here. And we're just gonna ride to the airport tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're gonna ride to the airport together in the morning. Um, so I might ask her to pick up some safety pins for me. Yeah, I'm gonna ask her that. Um, let me actually do that right now. Where's my phone? Uh, okay, I'll find that later. But what else did I do today? Oh, and I got business cards printed. So these are Nia's. I'm not gonna show hers because um, I don't know if she wanted that out but i'm gonna just show you a quick glimpse of mine so i my headshots um we're gonna be ready in time for this event so i just got this like picture of me on them and it's just my name it has my instagram my youtube a phone number for me this is not my phone let me not even though let's not show it this is not my regular phone this is just my business phone um and then my email so which is already on youtube you can find my email so if you want to reach out to me reach out to me that way or my instagram or my youtube comments like whatever um but yeah so i got business cards printed because you know this is like a business event like networking want to pass you know like hey this is me remember me so got that um and then that's it that's it i'm gonna pack the rest of this stuff i got to pack my vitamins um charge my devices charge my airpods charge this little fan that i like to bring because it'd be hot and, and it's hot in miami so sometimes you just need a quick little shh. um so i'm gonna charge that and then i'm ready to go i'm ready to go um i probably won't pick up the camera later on today but i'll see y'all in the morning <laughs>
morning, so we made it to the airport. I was supposed to vlog all getting up this morning, getting ready. Didn't work out. Um, but we made it. We're at our gate right now. Um, I'm here with Nia. Let me flip the camera. Um, like I said before, okay, she just ruins she just ruins everything okay um but like i said um we are going together but we're not going together if that makes sense um like real bad <laughs> so so yeah we just made it to the bradder gate i don't even want to talk about the journey it was to get here but we here now um and we're about to get on the flight. We're about to head to Miami. So I'll see y'all in Miami. Good morning. So I have officially, it's not even morning, first off. Um, but I have officially made it to Miami. We have checked into our sonder. Um, I might, that's my guest, y'all. I haven't even announced who my guests are, but they're just being very loud in the back. Um, that's one of them. Come here, son. Okay, so I like joke all the time and say that I have a son. I really don't have a child, but it's my little brother. Come here. It's my little brother. Okay, let's pick up the mail. Wait. You got it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So he's here, and then also my mom is here. Y'all have seen her on the vlog numerous times. Like we went to Houston, we went, came to LA. We, I feel like that's it. That's it. That's it. So and then she's always like on the phone with me, of course. I think that's why they've seen you a lot because you're always on the phone with me when I be vlogging. But um, yeah, we're here at Miami. I'm here for the. Black Film Festival, American Black Film Festival, like I've said before, um, and they are just tagging along with me. They are gonna be going to some panels um, tomorrow that we got some tickets to, but they're not gonna go to like all of the festivals like I am. Um, but we're about to go out right now and get some food. I'm starving, I haven't eaten like all day. It is, we. I left LA at like 6 a.m. and you know the time takes like a three three hour difference, so. It is 4.30 here, so it's like 1.30 there, um, and this would be the time like, I would be normally eating. So we're about to go to my favorite restaurant in Miami. It's called Coyo Taco. I put it on the Miami vlog when me and Brie was, when me and Brie was here, um, so we're about to go back to that. It's in Wynwood. Uh, and get some food, and then I don't know what we're going to do later on, but I'm going to bring y'all along with me. I'll see y'all later. Hey, mommy. Hey. Hey. This little boy didn't throw my drink. This it ain't me. Hey. All right, so we just left my favorite restaurant in Miami, Koyo Taco. I'm gonna get my uh, family's, my little brother and my mom's review on it because they had it with me. So, mom, what do you think of Koyo Taco? It was delicious, oh. I loved it. What'd you get? I have a watermelon margarita, margarita. period. And I had the burrito with chicken, uh, black beans, rice, and all the fixes. Cilantro, yeah. Ooh, and what you have, Jay? Had a burrito bowl. It was, it was pretty good. It was good. Surprising. Would you go back? Yeah. Would you recommend? Would you recommend it to your friends? Yes. Yeah. Just don't eat the hockey. Bowl. Yeah. Ooh. So. You heard it from them, y'all. I'm not capping when I say Oyo Taco is so good. It's the best restaurant in Miami. Go there. This is like, they not even sponsoring me. Y'all should really sponsor me at this point because Koyo Taco. This is the second vlog I didn't mention, y'all. So, but right now we're about to walk around. We gotta walk this food off. Um, we're gonna go see some murals 
and then hopefully I can get them to get a I don't know if it's a maletta or paletta one of them is suitcase I know that one is popsicle and one is suitcase I just don't know which one was maletta, it's maletta or paletta um work on your Spanish yeah I'm working on my Spanish but I'm gonna try to get them one of those um and then we're gonna I don't know what else we're gonna do but we we in Miami baby good morning so last night um we went to bed we went to bed we were so tired um and we just like literally came back to the room and passed out but it is the first day that we are going to the festival we are going to see um the proud family today it's like a proud family panel so we're gonna go see that today and then we're also going to see bel-air today they're doing also a panel um i don't think they're showing anything i think they're just doing a panel and then um that's all my mom and my brother are going to be doing today and then i'm going to a premiere of this movie called down the, down with the king it has freddie gibbs in it so um, i'm going to that premiere and i don't know we might go out tonight like i said my friend nia is also here so i might go out with her tonight um and i think we're going to brunch with her her mom today um but we'll see because you know back in the day we only did a couple of seasons and um to be able to come back, especially with people who enjoy the show so much, harassing me <laughs> and being mad at me, like I took it off. <laughs> so now it feels like it's a, you know, exciting because so many people grew up watching the show and now we are allowing another generation to be able to explore. It's a video. All right, guys, so I know it's the second day, but we are back at Coyo Taco. So we just, I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but we just left um, the Proud Family. So fun. I grew up watching the Proud Family. My grad cap had the Proud Family on it. So it was just like so surreal just like to, you know, be there. I met Callie Pratt, um, Joe Marie. Like it was just so nice. So we're here back at um, Coyo Taco. And I, today I got tacos. Let me show you. So I got some chicken tacos, my mom got chicken tacos, Nia's here, and she has steak tacos, so um, we're about to enjoy this, and then later on we're going to Bel Air, like I said earlier today, it's two things, three things I want to go to tonight, um, so we're going to go head back over to South Beach and check out those, and then we'll know what the night going to hold, but I'm going to take y'all along with us, so. Hey y'all, so we just left um, Koya Taco and now we are at Bayside. So one of my favorite things to do in Miami is go come to Biscayne. I love Biscayne, cruising Biscayne. Um, so we're at Bayside, they have like the Ferris wheel here. Um, I always come to the Fat Tuesdays here, it's like a Decker shop. Um, and then they just have like little, little shops, you can sit, they always have like live music. So you can come down here and listen to the music, have a little drink, you know, talk with your friends, all that stuff like that. So, me and mommy and Nia are about, probably, mm, should we get a drink? I'm down. <laughs> should we get a daiquiri? Said you're not drinking. Oh yeah, I'm not drinking. Um, and then we're just gonna chill out. It's nice and breezy, so it does feel good. In Miami's hot, but over here it's a little breezy, so it does feel good. And yeah, let me show y'all a little bit of the Ferris wheels right here. This bus just, this bus just, this bus just messed up the whole view. But the the Ferris wheels here, and then we're gonna go this way, huh? I said the Ferris wheel. We're gonna come back down here because I want to ride the Ferris wheel with my little brother and um, my mom. So we'll probably come down here at night and we're at the Ferris wheel. Oh yeah, we did the boat ride. Me and my first time in Miami, we did a boat ride here. And it was so fun. You get to see all the houses. It's like a Star Island, Old Island. And it was fun. Yeah. But I'm yeah. coming back, y'all. If y'all didn't know, uh, my vlog will be back. So we're just gonna. Um, I know you guys love me too. <laughs> we're just gonna walk around here. 
um, and look at some things. I want to see how much this is. Jay is a child. You're junior. Hey guys, so we left um, Biscayne Bay, well Bayside, and now we are at the New World Center because we are about to go to the panel for Bel Air. I've watched Bel Air. I actually haven't watched the last episode of Bel Air. So, no. So they might be spoiling something for me um, because I haven't watched the last one. Oh, they're gonna screen the last one? Perfect. Um, so, but my mom is watching it. She's so excited because she watches the show and she says she's been watching it over and over. She says she's been watching it over and over. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see the cast um, and talk about, you know, all other things. She's like, yes, I do. Let's, let's go. But yeah, let me go um, so we can get over here and get in here. Uh, please do stay. We've got actually now a little clip for you. Make sure I get my cards right. Yes. Uh, we've got a little clip for you right now. Uh -oh, <laughs> Good morning. So it is day three here in Miami for the American Black Film Festival and I'm already here at the New World Center um, for the Fierce Female um, Fierce Female Filmmaker panel. So as you I've said it a hundred times before that my favorite film my favorite film is Love and Basketball. So on this panel it please on this panel is um, Gina Prince Bythewood, and she's the writer and director of Love and Basketball. So I'm so excited to see her. Um, plus, she she has done Beyond the Lights. She is going to be the director of um, the the new movie with Viola Davis in it. It's called Woman King. Also, she huh? also <laughs> also probably green. <laughs> Like mine. Uh, <laughs> also, um, she's done, let me see what else she's done. She's done the new movie that came out on Netflix. It is, it's slipping my mind, but it was like, it was about like, this girl, she could live forever. I'm gonna put the name of it on the on the screen because it's like slipping my mind right now. But like, I'm so excited to see her. I'm here with Nia and her mom. But um, I've dropped off the kids earlier. They're at the beach right now. When I say kids, I'm talking about my mom and my little brother. Um, they're at the beach enjoying the beach while I'm going to be doing this. And then after this, I'm going to go back and pick them up because we are all going to the This Is Us panel. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to try to get some clips of her, of Gina Prince by the way, talking. Um, but yeah, I'm really just trying to be in the moment and listen to her because, like I said, she. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this afternoon. All right, so I am on my phone, but I'm walking back to the car because I have to go pick up the kids, uh, my mom, my brother. I'm, ex I'm like so happy. Like I'm literally shaking. I just met Gina Prince Bythewood. I told her how inspirational she was to me. She's the reason I am in film. Um, because of Love and Basketball, I literally watched it every single day. And it literally came out when I was three years old. But, oh my God, I'm in love with that movie. Um, so, and I took a picture with her. And then my friend Nia also took a video of, of me and her talking. Y'all literally, I'm walking, I'm hot, I'm exhausted, but I'm so excited. Literally, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we could not get into the This Is Us panel, but we are here at the Life of a Showrunner. Um, the showrunner of BMF is here, and the showrunner of A Black Lady Sketch Show is here, plus the star of A Black Lady Sketch Show is here, Robin Thede. Um, so I'm excited because I kind of want to learn the ins and outs of being a showrunner. Um, because I want to be able to do it all. I want to be versatile, be able to do everything. So, yeah. Same setup, let me show y'all. Same setup here. These two are with me. <laughs> so yeah, um, it is, 
it's supposed to start in like four minutes, but uh, it's probably not gonna start on time. But like I said, I'm gonna try to get a little glimpse. I'm still on a high from meeting Gina Prince Bythewood. I'm still on a for real high. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Patty LaBelle on my own sketch, and she goes, "Okay, so there's a singer named Patty LaBelle," and I go, "Let me stop you." <laughs> We're aware. <laughs> she goes, I'm so sorry, I'm used to pitching to white people. And I say, wow. yeah, don't do that. Strip all that away. And she took a breath and she goes, okay, so there's a woman who gets broken up with and every time she gets broken up with, Patti LaBelle appears and won't leave until she sings on my own with her. <laughs> and I go, great, go write it. That was it. That it didn't was take it. any longer than that, you know? It. And so that's the key difference with our room and the, and the thing that I never take for granted is that you don't have to explain who you are in order to do what you can do. Exactly. And for so many Amen. of us, you have to do that. You have to explain, you have to wear the mask. And I tell them on day one, you were underestimated wherever you were before this and that stops today. Oh. Yeah, you're a normal so, change. What's up guys? We're finna go to Bayfront. We're finna eat, have so much fun, we're finna ride the Ferris wheel. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. That's it. No, I, I'm trying to tell them. Oh, it's for the guy. That's the way it's for the guy. No, it's not. Oh. That's the mean it's recording. <laughs> go ahead. Look. Hold on. Me. Oh yeah, it is a stable lag. So whatever you move it is gonna go with you. Except for if you turn it upside down. Mm -hmm. Can you zoom in? Yeah. Right. See this? That's the Ferris wheel. Let me get focus on the Ferris wheel. First time, it's my first time here. Is your really just your first time? My first time here? Yeah. No, no. I actually went to Rolling Loud here maybe like four years ago. And then I came back here when I came to Miami the second time, and then I came back here yesterday and I brought Mama and Nia for the first time. Did you, did you like it? I love it. I love it here. It's a cool vibe. You can get some drinks. You can hear. You can hang by the water. It's real cool. Okay. It's real cool. My second time here. Hold on. <laughs> it's my second time here and I'm excited. Wait, hold on. Go. Hi, it's my second time here at Bayfront Park and I'm excited. I'm going to ride the Ferris wheel. <laughs> First time here. Um, first time here. Hope it up to be. Hope it's up to the hype that y'all talking about. It's cool. You know, it's like shops out here. It's some food. Sometimes Chill. they have a little music. It is Friday, so they might have some music out here. Songs falling. In the amphitheater. In the amphitheater right there. <laughs> but it also look like they're doing a little construction. Oh. We eating that. Hey y'all, we at what? Okay. Bubba Gump. Yeah, bubble gum. We about to get some food. Jay wants some gumbo, so that's why we really here. He, but it ain't gonna be like New Orleans. I'm gonna let you know now. <laughs> that's why you low on it, cause you think it's yes. New Orleans. <laughs> also, it ain't gonna be that. the one that you made at home, remember? That was good too. That was really good. It's about to be delicious. Very. Y'all yeah, probably can't even hear me, but we're about to get on the Ferris wheel. He nervous. Mama over here. <laughs> but this is the Ferris wheel. But 
yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I got my little drinky drink. I'm ready. All right. All right, so we just got on the Ferris wheel. Um, my son over here is a little nervous. Look at it. <laughs> he nervous. Mama, how you feeling? I feel great. Look I at the view. I'm ready for the view. So They're both drunk. The but we are not drunk. They're drunk, so they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of laugh you got? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel amazing. So, oh what? This little boy, he's gonna be the death of me. For real. For real. That's what I was supposed to say. This little boy gonna be the death of me. But I'm ready for the views. I'm ready for the views. <laughs> Every time I think of this, um, of a. Uh, Ferris wheel like this, I think of the scene. Oh, wait, let me flip the camera. Let me close my eyes. Right Every time I think of a Ferris wheel like this, I think of the scene from Coachella, of the insecure um, episode of Coachella. When they were, when Issa and Nathan were on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, yeah, but I'm here with my mama and my brother. Look at these views. Oh my God, it's awesome. Look at these views. Look at over oh, here. Oh Look over. Oh my God. Look over here. Oh my God. I never ran into this ever again in my life. <laughs> I just went with this. Never run into this ever again in my life. <laughs> oh my God. You don't like I, heights. I never want to ride. Huh? Because I'm scared of heights, Mama. Oh no. And you know this. Why not? How are you, my mother? And don't even know both. Okay. I just want to get off this thing. I'm so scared. <laughs> I want to die right now. Oh my god, it's oh my god. so beautiful. Look at it. It's so pretty. Hey guys. So, <laughs> I just, it kills me that every time I turn on the camera, she just like stops midway and just smiles like. <laughs> You can act normal, like you can continue whatever you're doing. I am normal. <laughs> no, you smile. No, you're not. You're not normal. You just stop and go. I smile. That's not normal. Okay, but anyways, I've got the camera. I'm on my phone. I just I can't pull out my camera. It's literally in my purse, but I just can't do it. Um, but we are here at. I'm cutting my brother out. We are here at um, the screening of A League of Their Own. Um, I'm excited to see it, literally. It's just like four people in here. Um, everybody else is at the Leading Man panel. It has Michael Ely on it and Yaya and Javante Rhodes. So everybody is literally there and we are here. Um, but that's okay because I love the actor, the actress that's in this film. Her name is, I, know her, I don't know her last name, but her, name is, her first name is Shante. And she's been in A Journal for Jordan. She was the main um, in that. She's been in Shante Shante. She's been in other things, but I love her. And they're also doing like a question and answer after. Um, so I wanted to hear it. And like, I just didn't feel like a leading man didn't cool. pertain to me. Because one, they're men. Um, they are actors. I'm an actor, but they're men. And I just feel like I would get more out of watching this, you know, this actress and get an opportunity to, see, to talk to her better. Um, so... And also, it's just a, so I just feel like it's more personal too. So, um, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> hey y'all, so it is the last event of the ABFF. A A ABFF. <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys, so it's the last event of the ABFF Festival. That's the American Black Film Festival. And um, the closing night is Rap Shit. It is the new show for Insecure. Well, I can't talk. <laughs> I cannot talk. It's a new show for Insecure. It's a new show for Insecure. Yeah, okay, sorry. here we go. One more time. Take three. <laughs> hey guys, so this is my third time doing this. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> not to be a porn. <laughs> not to be a porn. Okay, here we go. 
Hey guys, so it's the last event for the ABFF Festival. We are here at the closing night um, screening. It is Rap Shit, created by um, Issa Rae, the creator of Insecure. So we're here to watch the first episode of her new show, Rap Shit, and then it's also gonna be a talk back with her in the cast um, and another executive producer later on. So I'm excited. I've had the most amazing time here. Um, just networking with people, meeting people, giving people my card, meeting my idol, Gina Prince Bythewood. So, um, I'm gonna jump back on the camera when it's over and just tell y'all how I felt about the show. And I'm gonna be honest, if it's not, cause I, ha I think my, my hopes are very high when it comes to, when it comes to um, the show because of Insecure was so great. So I'm, um, I'm expecting this to be great as well, but like I said, I'm gonna hop back on camera when it's over. Bye. Let's try this again. Hey y'all, so I'm back from Rap Shit. I have actually been back for a while now, um, and it was so good, it was so good. I told y'all I would come back on the camera and say how I felt about it. It was so, 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 so good. I'm definitely gonna be tuned in. I'm excited to see where this series is gonna go. Um, but yeah, this vlog will probably be put out after the series drops because it drops on this Sunday. So um, like I said, just go on HBO Max and watch it. Um, but we're in here. We've already packed up. We went back to Koyotaka for dinner. Dinner. We picked up some food um, and came back to the room and ate it. And then we started packing because we do leave very early in the morning. My mom, and my brother's flight is they're gonna be leaving here at like 2 a.m to make it to the airport on time and then my flight is at 7 a.m but i don't like getting to the airport too early so i'll probably leave at like six um to get to the airport so i can get my flight um but yeah so i asked them to think about ask my mom and my brother to think about what their highs and their lows of the trip actually i told them to think about it and i didn't even think about it myself um so i'm gonna i'm gonna point the camera to them and while they tell me their highs and lows I'm gonna be thinking about what my highs and lows is so first up we have mom what was your high she's in the bed <laughs> what was your high no we're gonna start with lows and then we'll end on highs what was your low of the trip I think the low was the fact that we didn't have enough time to do everything we wanted to do mm -hmm. and the high was having an opportunity to spend this time with you guys and learn more about um, the film industry mm -hmm. and um, going to the panels and listening yeah. to the different people that are actually already in the industry. Yeah. So that was definitely a high for me because it's new. It's not what I'm used to. Yeah, I think because like, a lot of people like when kids when, when when you're a kid it's like a creative it's like really hard especially like because i feel like especially in south carolina i don't know how i'm trying to figure out how i'm trying to say this in south carolina the careers aren't creative it's like you're a lawyer you're a doctor you're a teacher you're you right. know like stuff like that so like when you have a child that decides they want to be like in a creative career I think coming to something like this is like a great opportunity for your parent to see understand. to understand like what I'm trying to do right you know what I mean right. yeah so, I think it, it brought a lot of insight yeah to your your dream yeah my goals yes and the path that I'm trying to get to like and the path I'm taking so, yeah. Okay, this little annoying boy I had to tell to stop because he is <laughs> just making so much noise. Little boy. See, to my simple answer, the low was stepping in mud. The high was the food. And also another low is pay. <laughs> Okay, you want to explain who Peggy was? She was the moderator for the um the showrunner. The showrunner. Why the was Peggy so bad? She kept interrupting them, and then okay. she, she she felt like she was getting paid, uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. So we don't know Peggy paycheck. Peggy, Peggy could have been getting paid. We don't know. So she not. Robin said she was. <laughs> the payroll. What did you tell me you wanted to be after this weekend? A writer. Why you want to be a writer? I don't know. I just always wanted to be a writer. Mm. Mm. So where are you going to school? I don't know. Like, what's it? BOC or VOC? Huh? What is it called? VOC. I think it's VOC. I looked it up. I couldn't find it. Okay, we're going to find it later on. Uh, Let's see. What else? What else I want to ask you? What you want to ask, Jay? Nothing. Sorry, he's... Food. Talk about the food. What was go your... Go to the taco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to the taco. <laughs> you mess up your stomach, but... <laughs> Why did it mess up your stomach? And black beans. Yes. But it's good. It's really good. It's really good. You taking your burrito home? Yeah. You are? Yeah. So I'm going to eat it. Well, Magic probably going to eat it. Magic, I'm probably going to eat it. Magic, probably going to eat it. Yeah. Okay. So, my turn. Uh, I'm going to start with my low. I think my low was not being able to go to everything. I just felt like we can, we can go to I had to pick and choose like what I wanted to go to. And that was like really hard. Um, for me because yeah, I just I really wanted to go to everything, but I feel like that's my low, which is even not a low, you know. It's, <laughs> it's a low, but it's not a low. Um, and then my high, I think my obvious high is meeting Gina Prince Bythewood. Uh, like I said, I just I'm just she's the reason that I wanted to be in film, so just like meeting her and. Like her, like saying my name and be like, "Oh, well, nice to meet you." So I hear like, ah. Um, yeah, that's my eye. That's my eye. I think you had several highs. I did. I think I had several highs. I think I had several highs. But I was like definitely on like cloud ninety nine. You were. <laughs> I was on cloud ninety nine when I met her. Yeah, and just being here with my mom and my brother. And, like, hear my little brother say, like, he wants to be a writer because, you know, like, I'm a writer. And you always want your younger siblings to, like, look up look up to you in a way. So, I don't know. That was pretty cool. But, yeah. I'm going to close out the vlog here. Like I said, our flight is very, very early in the morning. They're going back to South Carolina. I'm going back to Los Angeles. So, thank y'all for watching, uh, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I definitely will be back to the American Black Film Festival next year. So, I'm going to take y'all with me next year. Bye. Bye. I would like to get to know.